He is known for his contributions to the field of chemistry and his pioneering work on isomorphism. He is recognized for his research on phosphates, phosphites, arsenates, and arsenites, confirming the conclusions of Johns Jacob Berzelius. His name is Eilhard Mitscherlich. In the annals of scientific history, one name shines brightly, Eilhard Mitscherlich, a German chemist whose contributions to the field have left an indelible mark. Born in Neuend, Germany, Mitscherlich showed early promise in academia. His uncle, Christoph Wilhelm Mitscherlich, a renowned professor, inspired him to pursue a scholarly path. Mitscherlich studied philology at the University of Heidelberg, with a particular interest in the Persian language. However, his plans to join Napoleon's embassy in Persia were dashed with the abdication of Napoleon in 1814. Undeterred, Mitscherlich shifted his focus to medicine and enrolled at the University of Göttingen. It was there that he discovered his passion for chemistry, leading him to abandon his plans of traveling to Persia. His studies in Göttingen culminated in the publication of a treatise on Eurasian history, shedding light on previously unknown Persian princes. In 1818, Mitscherlich moved to Berlin to work under the guidance of Heinrich Friedrich Link, where he conducted groundbreaking research on phosphates, phosphites, arsenates, and arsenites. His meticulous observations confirmed the findings of Johns Jacob Berzelius regarding the composition of these compounds. Mitscherlich's discovery that corresponding phosphates and arsenates crystallize in the same form laid the foundation for his theory of isomorphism, a concept that he presented to the Berlin Academy of Sciences in 1819. Recognizing his talent, Berzelius recommended Mitscherlich as the successor to Martin Heinrich Klaproth at the University of Berlin. Though the recommendation was not immediately implemented, Mitscherlich received a government grant to continue his studies at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm. Returning to Berlin in 1821, Mitscherlich began his tenure as an extraordinary professor of chemistry at the university. His expertise and groundbreaking research led to his appointment as an ordinary professor in 1825. In recognition of his contributions, Mitscherlich was elected as a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in 1823. Eilhard Mitscherlich's unwavering dedication to scientific inquiry and his groundbreaking discoveries in the field of chemistry have solidified his legacy as a legendary figure in the annals of science. In the early 19th century, a young German scientist named Eilhard Mitscherlich was captivated by the mysteries of crystals. He dedicated his life to studying their structure and properties, eager to uncover their secrets. It was during one of his investigations that Mitscherlich stumbled upon a groundbreaking discovery that would revolutionize the field of crystallography. Mitscherlich's journey began when he came across the work of William Hyde Wollaston, who had observed slight differences in the angles of rhombohedra of carbonates that were isomorphous with calcite. Intrigued by this observation, Mitscherlich decided to delve deeper into the phenomenon. In his experiments, Mitscherlich meticulously examined the angles of calcite crystals at different temperatures. To his astonishment, he noticed that the angle varied depending on the temperature. This revelation sparked a new line of inquiry for Mitscherlich, as he wondered if this phenomenon extended to other crystals as well. Continuing his investigations, Mitscherlich discovered that when allotropic crystals, which are different forms of the same substance, were heated, they expanded unequally in the direction of dissimilar axes. This finding was a breakthrough in understanding the behavior of crystals under changing conditions. But Mitscherlich's scientific journey did not end there. In the following year, he made yet another remarkable discovery. While studying the mineral selenite, he observed that the direction of its optic axis changed with variations in temperature. This further deepened his understanding of crystal properties and the influence of temperature on their behavior. In 1826, Mitscherlich turned his attention to the minerals sulfur, calcite, and aragonite. Through his meticulous investigations, he shed light on the fact that calcite and aragonite, despite having the same composition, exhibited different crystalline forms. Mitscherlich termed this phenomenon polymorphism, a term that would become widely used in the field of crystallography. Mitscherlich's groundbreaking discoveries in isomorphism, unequal expansion of crystals, and polymorphism not only transformed our understanding of crystal structure but also laid the foundation for further scientific exploration in the field. His relentless pursuit of knowledge and his ability to unravel the secrets of crystals make Eilhard Mitscherlich a true pioneer in the world of scientific discovery. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.